Good evening, Faith Connection family. Welcome to Live Face. <laughs> Welcome to Faith Connection Live. Of course, this is our first episode, so we're going to be a little uh, rookies at this. So be patient with us. We just want to welcome you here. We've been praying for you that you will receive the answers that you that you need and you desire. My name is Pastor Clint Goss, and with me is Daniel Menser, uh, good friend and uh, entrepreneur, and has been part of the Faith Connection family since day one, he and his wife, Alicia, and, and uh, so we appreciate them, and, and he is the brainchild of Faith Connection Live, of all of our technical department, and all, he's been putting the energy and effort and time and, and money and resources and everything in it to learn how to do it and everything, so we appreciate everything he's doing and, and has done, and, and we're just knowing that things are just going to keep improving and getting better as we go along, so... Uh, want to get into our, our topic tonight. So Dan, what are we talking about tonight? All right, Pastor Clint, tonight's topic is, can a Christian drink alcohol? Mm -hmm. Now, it's not saying, hey, can a Christian get drunk? It says, can a Christian drink alcohol? And uh, the reason we bring this up is because it's all around us. We're inundated into our everyday life, whether it be at a grocery store. Here in Pennsylvania, we just got them into convenience stores yeah. uh, with a new law passed. Uh, we see it at family get-togethers, Thanksgiving, Christmas, even Easter. Um, sometimes we even see it in church with communion. I mean, so I know that's just a drink, but some churches have wine as their communion, and it's just a sip. But the main question is, is it okay for a Christian to drink alcohol? Well, we know that believers, Christians, in, in many different churches and denominations and everything, have all kinds of differing opinions on this. And so we, you know, some will say, well, Jesus turned water into wine, so it must be okay to, to drink. Or, um, you know, if you, but yet Paul will say, Paul says in Ephesians that not to get drunk on wine. So you've got people from one extreme to other within the body of Christ are, are saying, you know, we should or shouldn't or whatever. Um, even Paul said to Timothy to not to drink or to drink a little wine for his stomach's sake. And so we, even scripture is giving us contradictions uh, about, you know, whether Christians should be drinking, uh, should be drinking alcohol at all. All right. Um, so that's based off of scripture. So it's possible to drink, to drink alcohol, but is drinking alcohol a sin? Well, there's no direct scripture that says drinking alcohol in any form or whatever is a sin. It's like we know for a fact that fornication or adultery or any sexual activity outside of marriage is sin. That's so, specifically said. Specifically says that. But not about alcohol. But not about alcohol. Right. And so we don't have a point blank sure thing. But the one area we do have an absolute on is being drunk. The scripture clearly tells us do not be drunk in excess. And so you know, we, we just kind of bounce back and forth. So let me give you a couple of scriptures here. E Ephesians 5 and 8, it says, Do not be drunk with wine because, because that will ruin your life. Instead, be filled with the Holy Spirit. Romans 14, 20, and 21 says, Do not tear apart the work of God over what you eat. Remember, all foods are acceptable, but but it is wrong to eat something if it makes another person stumble. It is better not to eat meat or to drink wine or to do anything else if it might cause another believer to stumble. And this is the, the main topic or the main area, the main uh, discussion about whether a Christian should drink alcohol or not is how it affects your, your witness to other people outside of the body of Christ. It's comes down to that it's a matter of the heart. It's a condition or it's a, 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 a condition of your heart. It's, it's not the action of drinking alcohol that's a sin, it's how it affects your heart. What is your conscience telling you? What is your, what is your heart saying about it? 1 Corinthians 10, 23 says, you say, I am allowed to do anything, but not everything is good for you. You say, I'm allowed to do anything, but not everything is beneficial. So we know that just because it's something we can do doesn't mean that it's the, a, a good thing for us or a good thing for the people around us. Um, the, 
it's a it's a it's a main topic about drinking alcohol is what does it look like to outside to people outside of the of the faith those that are unbelievers if we're constantly posting things on facebook about you know i need to go drink some wine or boy i had a tough day at work so i'm going to go stop at the bar on the way home or i'm going to go home and, and get the get a wine out or i'm going to go home and have a beer or whatever it, what kind of testimony is that leading giving people what we we post things how great jesus is and how wonderful the word of god is and yet we say we we drink wine and people will uh, unbelievers will look at that and say bunch of Christians there they go again being a bunch of hypocrites and so is that the best testimony we want and that's where you got to examine your heart don't just take it because you're free I can do anything it, scripturally and in the spirit I can I can be free and everything's good for me but look into your heart what is Jesus telling you to do about this what is your heart your spirit man leading you to do about this one thing I, I want to I really want to is talk to is to believers that do may have made the decision the decision not to drink. Uh, what I've found is you know I have a lot of friends in the church that are from one extreme to the other, and what I see is that the believers that make the decision not to drink will bring shame and condemnation on those that do drink or or use alcohol to cook with or you know whatever they they you have those extremes that that no alcohol in any form in any way that's great that you've made that decision that's great you know that's acceptable that's wonderful and it's a great thing but one thing i know i do know we may not have a clear instruction from scripture not to drink but we have a definite instruction not to uh bring condemnation and to bring shame on other people and not to judge people Jesus was very emphatic about that over and over and over again. And so we can't judge people based on their actions and what they do. That's God's problem. That's his job to do. Our, our responsibility is to love people. And we don't accept sin, but we don't judge them because of their sin. That's what God does. Because if, if we get down that road, we're going to be judged and we're going to fall into, into that category. Um, Let's see, where else did we want to go? Final word. Um, the, if you do make a decision to drink alcohol and you are a believer, then make sure you take some, uh, how do I want to not, I don't want to say precautions, but to make sure that you um, use great caution in how much you drink and what you do don't allow it to take control of you right don't use it as a crutch yeah if, if you know if you've had a hard day is your source god or is your source a bottle right. you know make up your mind who's going to provide the comfort the joy jesus said i'll send you another comforter and he will and he will lead you into all truth and and paul said don't be drunk with wine but be filled with the holy spirit right. If we're putting the kingdom first, then we need to be putting the things of God first place and not relying on uh, other outside things. You know, I know people that don't mind recreational drugs. It's the same thing. It's not a, you know, we're not really separating one or the other. If you are doing anything that is uh, mind altering, no, it, it, it affects your ability to function to yeah, think right you, you get a buzz you get inebriated by yeah it. if you're if you're drinking alcohol if you're drinking so that you get a buzz and forget to, you yeah to forget and you go do things that you normally wouldn't do or say things to family members you normally wouldn't say that's when you've crossed the line you've gone too far and so we want to encourage you to be responsible for what you do you know we we hear it on the news or on radio or tv or whatever all the time Drink, you know, drink and drive responsibly. I want to say to believers, don't allow your heart, your conscience to be violated in whether you make the decision to drink or not drink. So don't abuse it. Don't let it uh, have control of you. Don't let it capture you, but you keep control of it. All right. Uh, before we go, we wanted to pray with you and uh, 
just just uh, remind you that that we love you and we're praying for you every day. We 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 say this around here, Faith Connection. You know, we're we're a family. We're the Faith Connection family, and we pray for you every single day. And we we want you to receive all that you have. That's why we're doing these live streamings that you can receive all that you need, and so that you can have an abundant life. So let me pray for you, Lord. We just thank you for everyone that's watching this video. Lord, we ask you to, we, to impart blessing on them, to impart truth into their hearts. Lord, that they would receive a revelation of the clarity of your word. And Lord, we thank you for every one of them. And we declare them, that, that those that are watching, we declare them as being Faith Connection family members. And we love them and we're praying for them and we speak blessing over them in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Like Pastor Clint said, we're doing this to spread the good news, the gospel of God. And without your input, we don't know where to go from here. We'll get, you know, a word from God on topics, but we want to hear from you. We want you to like, share, comment, mm -hmm. put questions mm -hmm. down below, suggestions on any topic, whether you like the lighting, the scenery, whatever. We're here for you. We want to answer your questions. We want to spread the good news of God. So, if you have future, if you have a question or something that you want us to cover on a future future episode, correct. then <laughs> put it in the comments and let us know so that we can uh, we can do that. Right. We're on Facebook. We're on YouTube right now. Uh, we'll be putting those links below. Uh, and uh, as always, God bless and good night. See you next time. Yep. Thursday, seven thirty.